Hi, Brandon. Hi, Kat. You just hanging out in this test kitchen on your own, chilling, running through super automatics. Like it ain't no one's business. I just happened to stumble in, thank God. <laughs> Catch you in action. You know it. You know it. <laughs> so you're like, it's mm, getting creepy. Um, so the Cynthia. Yes. Um, uh, it's kind of deceiving because it does have a little reader display kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. So you'd think that if it had errors, et cetera, it would be a little more helpful. Yeah. But we do get people who are like, what does that mean? There's a guy running across the, my screen with exactly. a cape on. Clean your drugs more. <laughs> Just kidding. What, what, what are, exactly. <laughs> what, um, what are the different, um, you're going to tell me what are the different symbols, what do they mean? Exactly. Okay. So just like you're saying, it would probably be easiest for the user. Mm -hmm. I just turned it on. It's got a little standby mode. So I'm going to turn that on, let it heat up. Okay. So it's heating up. Um, but it would probably be easiest for the user. I've got a crazy reflection going on here. Oh, I see. There we go. Okay. It would probably be easier, easiest for the user if it said things like heating up right there. That's yeah. It. But instead that was a picture of a thermostat and like a little status bar down below it. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not sure what that is. That's saying it's like rinsing the, the dispensing. And it kind of actually looks like the close up of a, um, fly head. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard that before, but you're actually correct. It does, like, with a little smirk on its yeah. face. Okay. <laughs> Why are you smirking at me, Sly? No. Um, so that's the wa that's sort of the water fill or rinsing process. Exactly. That's It's rinsing your brew unit. Okay. Um, if this was a brand new machine, would have that been indicative of it priming, or would have I had to prime it? it that... It it will give you a different symbol for priming, and actually, I was I really wanted to show you that symbol. Okay. I think it's actually kind of. Uh -uh. Uh, it's not that one either. Essentially, what will happen is. I get that. It will it it will put a picture of this knob there, and then it will have a squiggly right above it, kind of like a water path. It's that sort of like you need to fill your boiler. Your boiler is not full. Exactly. Okay. Um. So right now it's kind it's, of like telling you that you need to turn this knob to the right. Got it. You know, and instead of just saying like you need to prime your machine, it's actually <clears> kind <throat> of showing you a picture of this knob and that you need to turn it to the right. Okay. Um, we're not getting that that image up there right now, but. So let's let's run it through some errors. So what yeah. happens if um, my uh, dregs box is out? Yeah, let's take it out. Like that. It's like so oh. That's your that's your image. Okay. And it's, and kinda, it's yeah, it's like saying hey. Put can, me back yeah, in. Yeah, put that, put that back in because I'm out. Hold on. I can't really get... There we go. Okay. I'm going to put it back in, and then I'll take it out again. And we'll see the, the beans disappear from it. The little pucks. Yep. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> there are no so beans a, in there. That's a bucket of polka dots, people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then um, let's, let's open the door. I think the door misleads a lot of people because that's all it is. I mean, it, it's a good picture of the door, but, you know... I think some people, if it's just really close from being, they don't know, it, it mm -hmm. should probably just say door open or d door closed, but it doesn't say that. Okay. I think it does the same thing for the brew unit. It actually has an image of the brew unit. If I put, shut the door, there we go. Yeah. So there, there's an image of your brew unit. Some people don't even take their brew unit out, so they don't really know that that's an image of your brew unit. And it kind of looks like a wolf howling at the moon. Wow, you are very good at this. <laughs> from flies smiling to wolves howling at the moon. A wolf with like um, a paisley sweater on. <laughs> you know, you know all those wolves wearing paisley out there. Oh my there. goodness! I actually Ralph. just just hit that. Okay. All right. Um, now. Oh wait, you know what? I think I thought of a way we can get that image oh. up. I'm gonna open up the steam valve and then turn it on, okay. and, and it's gonna give me an image of the knob. There we go. Oh, so, so that's it's like, what... Yeah, it's like saying, hey, did you know your knob's open right now? You need to close it before I do anything. Okay. And it's kind of the same thing if it needs to be primed. It will show you a picture of the knob and it turn it to the right. Mm -hmm. And it will have like a water flow symbol above it. So let's put it back. Now we're good. And now it's asking to brew. Now what um, what happens if I have water issues? What does it show me then? Yeah, let's let's see here. You know, actually... Oh, I think you just answered my question. Right. I think what I can do is this machine is similar to the Odea in the sense that there is a, let's just get that out of the way now. There is a, a sensor back there. I'm gonna have to put my head down here and take a look back to see exactly where it's at. Just a second okay, here. So oh, whoa. Sorry. <laughs> 
I'm trying to remember where it's at. I think it's actually on this side. So I'm putting this down here. Let me try to find it real quick. There we go. Okay, so, so it's a pressure one as well. Exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see, it thinks it's full of water right now, but it's not. You're going to mess with it. Yeah, so I'm now, now I'm going to turn this, and then eventually, oh, it's heating up. This machine will heat up every time before you, you need to do hot water. But eventually right now, the flow meter is going gonna, is gonna to tell the, the CPU, hey, I, I actually don't have any water coming through here. So then it's, so it gives us this classic one, but then when I put this back, you will see your priming image right there. That image right there causes a lot of confusion for people, and at rightfully so, that's kind of, it's telling you to turn the knob to the right so you can get some water coming through your steam arm. <laughs> but we, you know, I mean, what is that? I mean, it's not, it's, it's like got, a, It's like a snake <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> I just, I couldn't wait for you to give me your guess as to what that one is. But that is a very popular call. Like people describe that image to people, you know, our customer service team here, mm. and then and then, you know they got to let them know. Yeah, that it that. is very a bizarre image. It is. It's it's. It probably should just say, "Select water, <laughs> prime your machine." You know, as opposed it's to one the of those snakes things on the that plane. Is, it's yeah. It's like deceptively intuitive. Exactly. Okay, so now let's see what the air is like when it thinks there's no water tank. Because I'm going to take my hand away. Okay. And oh. that's just hey. Yeah, hey, guess Put what? Put some water in there. There's no water on your thing here. So get situated. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much all the air. And now it's going to tell you once you put that out how, hey, exactly. the snake's on the plane. Exactly. Get the snake off the plane. <laughs> exactly. And then that, there's a status bar there letting you know the whole thing's primed. And it's saying, hey, put me back there. And now and you're now ready, ready to rumble. Grow. What happens if I take out my um, drip tray? Is there. Can I do that with the machine uh, that way? And is it going to give me an error? You know what's funny is since we've been in test mode, I don't think there was something for the drip tray. But let's see. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's not, which is kind of a, it's interesting. There isn't. Okay. I knew there wasn't. And, but there actually is on the Cynthia Cappuccino. Oh. On the Cynthia Cappuccino, this is the same drip tray as the Cynthia Cappuccino, except... The cappuccino has a magnet in there, and this machine does not. I see. That's the only difference between those two uh, drip trays. What about if I have my um, lid off of my bean hopper? There also is no magnet on your bean hopper, but that is because there is a, a finger guard. Oh, okay. So they don't have to worry about your paws. Exactly. It's like that's why there's no alarm because they feel like you're fine there, and you know it's got this nice seal here to keep your beans fresh. Mm -hmm. So that's really the only point of this. It's just to keep your beans fresh. Okay, so we've got a uh, up close and personal look at a fly. We've got a wolf <laughs> uh, howling at the moon, and we have a snake on a plane. Exactly, and the wolf was wearing a sweater. Paisley sweater. That's right. It was quite comfortable. Yeah, cozy wolf. All right, those are the errors on the uh, Cynthia. Exactly. Thanks, B. No problem.